Welcome back to Under Pressure, where we bring industry experts in the pressure washing industry to you, to our audience, to hear uh, their insights, experience, and advice to help you grow your business. So today, I am very excited to have with us Justin Clegg, uh, CEO and founder of Allset. Hi, Justin. Thank you for joining us. Jake, thanks for having me. It's good to be here. Um, and the swag, the Allset swag looks great on you. Uh, I can see you're rocking the shirt, the hat. Uh, so th- thanks for the time and good to connect. Absolutely. It's, it's great to see you again. Uh, Justin and I had met at the IWCA PWNA event in Orlando. It was nice to see many of you there as well. And um, Justin just had to had to be on the show after we met. I had to have him on after he told me um, what he does in this industry. And I was able to see the power that that can uh, give to, to a lot of home service company owners, uh, specifically in this pressure washing industry. There's a great opportunity to grow your business with some of the concepts that Justin is here to talk about today. Uh, Justin is a messaging expert. He is a serial entrepreneur. Um, and he has introduced tipping into the home services industry. And I think that this is something that's going to be very influential and I'm happy to have this conversation with you today. So thank you for joining us again. Yes, of course. So that was a little bit of a long intro, but um, just for anyone who doesn't know you, what's your background and, and how did you get into this space, this home services space? Sure. So the story is really fun. I, I started my career uh, living and working in Silicon Valley. And during my time there, I spent a lot of time with uh you know, industry experts and software and technology companies um, that were very big, uh, that had, you know, massive global influence. Um, And I got really excited about startups and solving problems uh, for, you know, local business, for small businesses. And really, uh, the more time I spent in Silicon Valley, the more time I realized that uh, there are so many businesses outside of California and Silicon Valley uh, that are in need of tools and services to run and grow their business. And so as we started to look at a bunch of different industries, home services kept surfacing as uh, a massive industry. I mean, there's 128 million homes uh, in the U.S. today. Uh, all of them need service. Mm-hmm. And yet uh, the tools that are available today in terms of communication and payments and uh, the overall experience that's being delivered um, everything felt subpar, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, you know, you can look at companies like DoorDash or Instacart or Uber that would allow you to, you know, order a meal or groceries or a car with the tap of a button. And yet, uh, the experience uh, between uh, service professionals that focus on residential businesses and those homeowners, uh, in many ways, it's it's broken. And so. Uh, That's kind of, uh, you know, scratching the itch of wanting to solve that problem um, and really bring those skill sets in customer experience, customer engagement, and, you know, overall communication uh, to the space uh, is kind of why we're here today and why our company exists. So, Absolutely. And um, I, I'm sure you you said you, you see that there are all these homes and there's these homes need to be serviced and there's such an opportunity here. Um, when did you realize that that tipping was something that that could be leveraged in this industry? Where where was that opportunity seen? Yeah. So, you know, first of all, tipping is a 40 billion dollar industry today. Um, but that stat is predominantly focused on uh restaurants, salons, uh, and, you know, services that, you know, are a little bit more recognized where it's more common to, to leave a tip or even expected in some cases. And so as we, you know, worked with, you know, hundreds of service professionals, got to know them and hear their stories. Uh, we heard kind of the constant challenges and the hair on fire problems that they were experiencing. Mm -hmm. And those were mainly focused around you know, scheduling, uh, it was around hiring and retaining employees. Um, and so we initially built uh, a product that offered kind of an all in one, it did a bunch of different things, right? So we wanted to help these businesses schedule faster, and get more jobs and get paid. Um, and as we, you know, talked to those businesses further, 
uh, we learned that, you know, really the most important experience and the most delightful thing for their technicians and their pros who are out in the field was that our software and our tool could help them, you know, receive a tip in a really seamless uh, and digital way, which was through text messaging. And so after hearing that, uh, we spent time really just focusing our, our efforts on, you know, how do we make tipping easier and mm -hmm. how do we help businesses earn more on every job, uh, increase those hourly wages and overall motivate these technicians to be excited about the job that they're doing and improve the quality. And so uh, that was kind of the start of our automated communication platform. And the results were really exciting. Uh, we learned, Jake, that Americans you know, will leave a $35 tip on average when prompted on all set. And so that wow. $35, now you're multiplying that by each appointment that you're doing in a day across your team. Uh, that can unlock thousands of dollars in revenue that never would have been seen before. Um, and, you know, in the past really just couple of months, we've generated over $60,000 in tips and we send a hundred percent of that back to the business, um, to the service professionals. Uh, and, uh, we are also covering all the credit card processing fees, um, that are associated to that. So, um, we've seen a lot of success and a lot of, you know, interest in, in sort of finding ways to increase tips. And we're now increasing tips by 300% for business owners and uh, service companies today. Wow, that that is so powerful. And I really see the potential in unlocking that th those tips, unlocking that cash flow, right? There's the money multiplier effect there. Like what this money that I can save or, or that I unlock that I didn't know was out there um, and just waiting to be grabbed, what can I go do with that? You know, there, there's just... 100%. Um, our message is, you know, stop leaving money on the table and do right by your employees, right? Your yeah. team members uh, are working hard. Uh, in many ways, uh, service, you know, jobs are much more difficult than, you know, other industries. And, you know, these these folks are no less deserving uh, to receive that upside and, and those tips uh, after every job completed. So I'm sure that you don't have any metrics on this in the, the micro scale here, but it, later on, uh, maybe a couple of years down the line, you'll have um, all this data. And I'm curious to see how powerful this tool is um, in regards to Hold to turnover rates for employees as people uh, are growing teams in in pressure washing this industry specifically as people are now focusing on growing their teams this t tipping feature i'm assuming and i'm sure you'd have a better idea of this and this this is where i'm trying to head to what do you think that effect will be i mean turnover can can be incredibly costly and really hinder the growth of a company so i see this being like massively impactful to a, to all pressure washing companies Sure. So I think you're right in that we are early and it, it may be too early to tell exactly what that impact will be. Um, but from our research, we know that hiring is expensive. It can cost a business owner anywhere from 50 to a hundred thousand uh, dollars to find the time to recruit, to interview, uh, you know, to keep. And a common problem we heard was, you know, I've, I found an A player. Uh, I love the guy or gal. And they just left after two weeks, right? And so now you think about the costs associated with hiring. And by introducing all set to your team, uh, you now have a way to motivate um, and give them a way to um, sort of incentivize them for a job well done. Um, and it's in many ways, it can be looked at as a company benefit that you know you want your team members to have access to all set um, so that those hourly wages can be increased. Um, and, you know, per job, it could look like, you know, an additional two to $5, you know, per hour uh, mm -hmm. on any given job. And so uh, we certainly are seeing the impact of retention. We feel the pain, right? We've all lost great people that are working with us. And uh, that's, that's a huge challenge that um, our, our product and our company inadvertently solves while just delivering a great and better customer experience. Um, asking for a tip is awkward. <laughs> and if I said, Jake, can I, you know, are you going to pay me $5 for this, this podcast? Um, you know, you're probably going to feel constrained and 
it's going to make our friendship a little, a little odd. <laughs> and uh, instead, you know, we're automating everything to run in the background. So the minute the technician, you know, leaves the home, all set is sending that text message to the homeowner. Uh, it's prompting them to leave a tip. It's giving them an opportunity to opt out and essentially ignore if they, mm-hmm. you know, choose to. Um, and, uh, and then, you know, those funds go directly back to that technician and people are notified in real time. Um, so that, that's a little bit about the experience and uh, the impact we're starting to see on hiring and, and future retention. Absolutely. So before, before I get into um, a, a little bit about your product, because I had a, done a demo um, with someone from your team in, in Orlando, I'm just curious, what is the, the conversion rate on these tips? When, you're, when you have this automated process and you're automatically sending them out after each scheduled appointment, which also, I'm sure there's something to be said about that extra touch point. I'm sure that's actually good to keep, keep them, uh, you in the top of the mind of the client. That's great. But what's the conversion rate on these tips? Sure. So a few stats around messaging in general. First of all, when people are sending emails, uh, your average open rate on an email is about 7% today, Mm -hmm. uh, which is relatively low. And you contrast that to messaging. When a text message is sent, your open rate is about 98%. Uh, So uh, if you look at your phone today, Uh, And you ask, you know, how many unread messages do I have? Well, every message gets read because nobody wants to see unread messages. Uh, They're that important. Some may be less important, but they get read. And so knowing that, um, you know, our deliverability is very high. You know, when we send messages, we know that they're going to be received, delivered to that homeowner. We know that they're going to read it. Now, in terms of, you know, prompting them to leave a tip, we are seeing a 15% conversion rate today Mm -hmm. um, on when a text message is sent to when a tip is received. And so um, we use that to be able to calculate the ROI uh, Mm -hmm. on uh, how many tips a business can generate during a a given month based on the number of appointments that they're running. Um, So simple math uh, is, you know, if you're doing uh, X number of appointments per month, We're going to multiply that by 15%. And then our average tip amount is $35. And so that will be probably a strong indicator of what we're going to be able to unlock for the business once you sign up for all set. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And it... It's very interesting to me as well. There's one thing I I, I wanted to mention as well, which is I think there's another powerful aspect here. Part of this customer... Uh, journey through this this tipping operation. There's when, while I was demoing the product in Orlando, the, the text comes out to me and it says, "Hey, uh, hey Jake, do you want to leave the tip?" And I'm sure you have all. There was great verbiage. I, I'd have to look it up, but it was it looked <laughs> great. It looked beautiful. It was clean, easy, simple. And when I clicked to to do the tip, it immediately prompted me to leave a review. And my first thought is someone who's who's been thinking about these, you know, these customer journeys and, and where you bring a customer along in the process, my thought process is, wow, that's huge for marketing. Because if you're in home services, reviews are incredibly, incredibly important. You're, you're working in a, in a local market and uh, in, in, in your neighborhood, when someone looks up the best pressure washer and, and they see you <laughs> have a five-star review, that's fantastic. So reviews are so important to, to this audience, these pressure washers. So, your, your software here with Offset, if someone leaves a, a tip, they're then prompted to leave a review. Do you see that that is now what I call a qualified review, that these reviews are going to be like on average way higher than the average review? I'm yeah. not sure metric, but what have you seen with that? Yeah, you bring up a, a few great points. Um, the first point is, you know, personalization matters. And so mm-hmm. part of our experience as an automated, you know, messaging and communication platform is we want to make every message feel very custom and very personal so mm-hmm. that it looks like it's coming from the business. So that means we include a photo of the team or a logo. Uh, every message includes the client's first name. Um, we can end the message from the owner of the business. And when you mm-hmm. have used the owner's first name, there's a little bit more credibility, feels like less spam. Yeah. Um, and getting into the experience, like you mentioned, uh, we're not just a tipping platform. Uh, mm-hmm. While tipping is 
sort of the the lead experience today. Um, you know, you mentioned reviews, uh, which actually uh, couple and go hand in hand perfectly with tips, because we know that um, you know I think it's north of eighty five percent of reviews uh, that had previously received a tip are going to be five star or positive, and Absolutely. so. So there's really, um, you know, if somebody has already left a tip, they're already satisfied and expressing gratitude for a job well done. And so a review is a very uh, low hanging fruit and a very easy ask at that point uh, to then go and qualify it like you just mentioned. Absolutely. And I, I love that it kills two birds with one stone because a part of the home service conversation in the past few years has really been, how do I automate getting reviews and how do I get more reviews because of how they, important they are to my business? And if you're now able to target the right people, you're saying, hey, these guys are going to give a, a good review. It's going to be automated. They're tipping. They're going to give a good review. It's automated. It sounds like you really, you killed two birds with one stone here and it, it just compounds the the effect of, of all set. Yeah. And, you know, candidly speaking, it's just the tip of the iceberg. So, you know, tipping is sort of the experience that, (laughs) so, so tipping unlocks revenue, right. And that helps your guys get paid more. Now we've introduced reviews, which are improving your online reputation and your online presence and helping businesses or at least homeowners or consumers find your service. And then kind of our next act that that we're just releasing now is uh, referrals. And so Mm -hmm. we know how important it is to uh, tap into uh, networks and network effects. Um, And if you have a client that you've just serviced and they're willing to recommend and refer you to their own neighbors, uh, to their family and friends, and we can create a simple incentive for them to do so. Now we're bringing you more jobs. We're keeping your phone ringing. So with all set, you're now getting kind of this automated experience that handles the full life cycle of, you know, what happens after the appointment. So uh, I've increased tips for my guys. I've increased reviews uh, on Google, on Facebook, on Yelp. Um, and now because of all set, my own clients are introducing me to their friends and family, which is in turn going to bring more business back into the company and increase more jobs. Uh, you know, for my pressure washing business. So uh, it's it's really kind of fun to see that uh, flow, if, if you will. Um, it's intuitive. It, it just makes sense. And it's working really well today. So absolutely. And it sounds great. Uh, we need to take a moment to hear a word from our sponsor, Pair Payments, and we'll be right back. You certainly can't afford to give profit away for no reason. But what if I told you credit card processors may be overcharging you and robbing you of profits you've worked hard to earn? It's time to put an end to being overcharged for payment processing. It's time to take back your profits. That's why we've put together a free report, How to Avoid Being Overcharged by Your Payment Processor. Head over to TakeBackYourProfits.com, download the report, and put an end to being overcharged for credit card processing. You've worked hard for your sales, and you deserve to keep it. What are you waiting for? Go to TakeBackYourProfits.com and download your report today. Welcome back to Under Pressure. Uh, We again have Justin Clegg, the founder and CEO of Allset here with us today. And so far, we've had a great episode full of great information um, that will really help you you grow your pressure washing company. And I'm excited to talk about Justin now, the, the vision you have, the future. What do you think is the future of, of all set, the pressure washing industry and this, this concept of automating the, the tipping and this whole, this whole process? Yes. Um, great question, Jake. So first of all, um, service businesses are not going away. Um, we had talked about the size of this market. You know, there's 5 million businesses in North America, uh, that offer services, um, we are looking at approaching about a $1 trillion industry in the next couple of years, uh, which is massive. So it's a great time uh, if you're pursuing a pressure washing business, if you're just getting started, the opportunity for you and the business to scale uh, feels unlimited. Uh, There's there's really uh, the the sky's the limit in terms of um, the number of household, the number of folks that you can hire. And I think the important you know, stat here is that uh, I think it's about 70% of businesses uh, today are considering 
having a text message marketing or a mobile messaging strategy. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, our, I think as businesses um, continue to grow and scale, building out uh, your automated messaging strategy is going to be very important. And so with a tool like Allset, you're obviously going to be able to uh, tie that into the CRM that you're using uh, and set it and forget it and trust that your communication with your customers um, is simple, intuitive, friendly, and effective, and ultimately driving those results and growing your business on your behalf. Um, So I think that's, you know, uh, very excited and bullish about the industry. Um, we're proud of, of the folks that we're working with. Um, and we've seen companies, you know, grow very quickly in a very short period of time, um, you know, with simple and effective tools. Um, in terms of, of where Allset is headed, you know, look, we, we want to be one of the next fastest growing companies in the U.S. And so what that looks like for us is scaling out our product and engineering team, um, as well as our go-to-market team, uh, in such a way that we can support all 5 million of these businesses um, and be able to deliver and manage millions of concurrent messages that are getting sent out uh, in a way that's, uh, again, helpful, personal, and never spammy. And so uh, making sure that uh, we can you know, effectively scale in such a way is important. Um, and then always thinking about uh, what our customers need most and what uh, service businesses care most about, um, which at the end of the day, it's it's getting more jobs, right? How do I get more jobs? How do I improve my online presence um, and ultimately make more money? And so our our whole vision is, you know, always going to be how can we help businesses unlock revenue? And uh, I think you know one exciting uh, initiative will be things like payments. So. Uh, we've got text to pay, which is something that will be forthcoming, where now we can lower you know, businesses' credit card processing rates. Uh, we can make the experience more fluid and seamless in that now instead of writing on a clipboard and you know putting all the credit card information down on pen and paper, instead all sets just sending a text saying, hey, here's an easy link to complete a secure payment. And that's sharing receipts. And that's also including tipping. So uh, the future is exciting for us. um, And we just want to make things as easy as possible uh, so that we can allow these businesses to do what they do best. Right. And that is, you know, hitting uh, hitting homes hard, growing their their company um, and not having to spend time worrying about how a solution is going to work or how to you know implement software. So those are just some thoughts on, I think, where we're headed and what we're excited about. Absolutely. And I, I do want to touch on that last thing you just said, which is that, you know, if you're listening to this podcast and you're saying, wow, I, I didn't even realize that I could introduce tipping and that I could make it automated and that I could unlock all this revenue. If someone is is wondering, you know, how to how to do that and be able to to have it grow automatedly, like have it go automatically, how do they how do they get in touch with you to, to ask yeah. you about to talk about this? Yeah, great question. So uh, our message is simple. Call us. So go to our website is allsethq.com. And uh, so it's a very clean and easy to follow uh, website. Um, Once you're there, you should see a phone number um, on the page. Give us a call. We'd love to get you up and running in five minutes. So um, and if we take longer than five minutes, uh, you know, We'll give you a free month free. So uh, we we typically offer uh, 30 days, um, you know, for businesses that they can get up and running. We don't do any contracts, uh, and uh, if we're not generating tips for you within that first week, um, you know, obviously you wouldn't be paying anything to begin with. But uh, we have 100% success rate with our businesses today so far. So uh, all set hq.com and love to see you there and love to have you on our our platform. That's fantastic because for me, that just goes to show that you're letting your product speak for itself. You, you don't need to lock someone into a contract because the product will speak for itself. So I love that you uh, that you you structure it that way. <laughs> yes. So I know we had talked about um, an exclusive offer for for the audience members listening to this podcast. Um, could you talk about that a little bit? Yes. So we would love to tie in uh, an exclusive um, offer for this, for listeners of this podcast. 
Thank you. Um, for folks who are associated to pair payments um, and also attendees at IWCA in Orlando at 2022 uh, at the exhibit there. Um, and so that offer um, is essentially we would be lowering our monthly costs from 199 per month all the way down to 125. Um, and so feel free to reach out and just mention IWCA, pair payments, um, or uh, Jake and and, uh, and sort of the podcast experience. And we'd love to re help you redeem that and get you exclusive ac access there. Absolutely. So thank you very much for doing that. Um, I just, I, to the audience real quick, I, I think that this is something that's incredibly powerful and, it, and it's worth taking a look at. Um, it's, you know, something like this totally new to the industry it could be very disruptive. And I think um, if you're not doing it, I think, I think you might look back someday and say, hey, why didn't why didn't I do that if everyone else is doing it now? So, um, yeah, thank you, Justin, for sharing that with with our audience. I really appreciate that. And I'm sure they will as well. Of course. And uh, Jake, we got to get our audience uh, some more of these hats that we're wearing. We're uh, we, we got to get share the uh, share the love with some of the swag we've got going on. So send those out but no this is a great conversation jake um thank you for what you're doing for the industry and um excited to see uh more and more folks on all set with us absolutely our our goal is to to help um you know these small business owners in the pressure washing industry grow their businesses uh, in the best way possible as rapidly as possible and um, i can see that our interests align justin and that's why i had you on this podcast to talk about your product i i love what you're doing i love the product and i'm very happy to uh to see how we can help each other so <laughs> very good well no it's it's good to be here and uh glad we could meet and uh hope we can uh, be on the next one soon absolutely so thank you to the audience thank you to justin for joining us today uh please reach out to him if you have any questions or you want to know more about this and how this can work um, and thank you to everyone on Instagram who has been um, engaging with us there. We really appreciate, um, you know, a like, a follow, any any of the above. And we um, are very excited for this this list of guests, the slew of guests we have upcoming. Justin is just one of many one of many guests that we that we are going to have come on to share their insights, their knowledge in the pressure washing industry and to help you grow your business. So please go like, follow, uh, engage with us on Instagram, on, on YouTube, any social media, so that we can hear from you what you want talked about on this podcast. Uh, please let me know if there are any, any people you'd like to have on as guests or any topics you'd like covered. So thank you very much to the audience. Thank you again, Justin, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for listening. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the bell so you won't miss our next episode. This episode was produced by Jake Aronson. This has been a Pair Payments production.